Yeah, it's surprising because the director of national intelligence, uh, who is supposed to know everything, uh, delivered the more than three reports to the U.S. Congress in recent years, right. uh, basically tes uh, testifying that uh, there are objects in the sky that we don't fully understand. And that means that we don't have enough data to figure out their nature. If they were produced by American companies, right. we would know about it. The director of national intelligence will not talk about it. But they, it did. I mean, she did. Uh, and uh, therefore, I, I must uh, assume that the government um, you know, has a problem. That, I mean, it's a problem of national security. You don't expect the Pentagon officials to disclose the information because they... They don't want to be scrutinized. You know, we are mm. paying a trillion dollars a year on, on the defense budget, and they're not doing their job. All right, Dr. Loeb, uh, we are going to stay on top of this. That's our promise to the audience. Uh, we appreciate you coming back. Um, next week, we hopefully will know more. What I think is fascinating is the establishment says that you're wrong, and you're not convinced that this is a comet. That's why we're going to stay on top of this story. In a shocking new development, the CIA has refused to confirm or deny any records related to the interstellar object 3I Atlas, despite growing public interest and its unprecedented journey through our solar system. This refusal comes after a FOIA request sought transparency on the object, which has baffled astronomers and raised eyebrows across the globe. While the scientific community has been examining the object's strange behavior, the government's refusal to disclose any information about it opens up a world of speculation. What is it about 3I Atlas that the CIA is so eager to keep hidden? Are we dealing with just another cosmic anomaly? Or is there something far more sinister lurking in the shadows of our universe, something the authorities aren't telling us? On December 31, 2025, the CIA responded to a FOIA inquiry by John Greenwald Jr. regarding 3I Atlas with an unexpected answer. The agency could neither deny nor confirm the existence of any records related to the object. This refusal in itself raised a number of questions, particularly in light of the fact that the object was widely known and studied by the scientific community. The simplest interpretation of the CIA's response is that some government officials may have viewed 3I Atlas as a black swan event, a highly unlikely yet potentially catastrophic event that must be taken seriously. While experts in the field of comets and astronomy regard the possibility of such a threat as low, the potential impact of an unknown object entering our solar system demands careful consideration. By acknowledging such a possibility and keeping it hidden, the CIA may have been protecting the public from unnecessary panic. The neither-confirm-nor-deny response ensures that investigations into such rare and dangerous scenarios are kept from the public eye, preventing societal instability and avoiding false alarms. If this interpretation is correct, 3I Atlas may be the first astronomical object for which this unique approach to communication was used, allowing agencies to assess the situation while maintaining calm in the face of uncertainty. The peculiarities surrounding 3I Atlas have made it a subject of intense scrutiny since its detection. Beyond the scientific curiosity surrounding an interstellar object, Abi Loeb, a prominent scientist, has meticulously cataloged the anomalies that distinguish 3I Atlas from anything previously observed. These anomalies have not only made it a focal point for astronomers, but have fueled speculation that it may not be just a simple comet, but something much more extraordinary, something that demands further investigation. Loeb's analysis has brought to light several unusual characteristics of 3I Atlas, each of which raises questions about the object's true nature and origins. While the object has been observed to behave like a comet in some ways, its movements, composition, and structure appear to defy what we know about typical comets and other celestial bodies. The first anomaly that caught the attention of scientists was 3I Atlas's sunward jet. Unlike most comets, which emit jets of gas and dust in multiple directions as they approach the sun, 3I Atlas emitted a jet that was tightly focused toward the sun. This focused jet is not typical of most comets, which usually exhibit more random, diffuse emissions. Even more perplexing, the sunward jet continued to persist even after 3I Atlas passed its closest point to the sun, perihelion, when the sun's influence should have diminished. This is highly unusual. Comets typically stop emitting gas in a specific direction once they pass perihelion, as the intensity of solar radiation decreases. Yet 3I Atlas continued its jetting behavior, suggesting that there is something different about the object's internal makeup or structure. 
The continued emission of material suggests that the object is not behaving as a typical comet would and that its internal processes may not be fully understood. Another anomaly concerns the trajectory of 3I Atlas. The object was observed following a retrograde path, meaning it was traveling in the opposite direction of most objects in the solar system. While retrograde orbits are not impossible, they are rare for interstellar objects. What makes this even more curious is the fact that 3I Atlas's trajectory was aligned closely with the solar system's ecliptic plane, the flat, disk-like region where most of the planets orbit the Sun. This is an unusual feature for an interstellar object, as most objects entering the solar system come in at random angles. The fact that 3I Atlas was aligned so perfectly with the plane of the solar system raises questions about how such an object could be so precisely directed. Was this trajectory purely accidental, or could there have been some external influence guiding it on this path? The gravitational effects of the Sun on 3I Atlas also raised eyebrows. As the object passed through the solar system, it was deflected by the Sun's gravity, as expected. However, the degree of deflection was 16 degrees, a number that stood out as unusually precise. While gravitational interactions between objects are common, the fact that the object's trajectory was altered by such a specific amount of degrees is remarkable. The precision of this deflection suggests that 3I Atlas may not have simply been a passive visitor to the solar system. It's possible that there was some form of manipulation at play here, perhaps an external force influencing the object's path. The highly controlled deflection could be a clue that there is something about 3I Atlas that cannot be explained by natural gravitational forces alone. Next, the chemical composition of 3I Atlas was a subject of great interest. The gas surrounding the object was found to contain a high concentration of nickel, a metal that is rarely found in the outgassing of typical comets. The object also exhibited low levels of water, which is a significant departure from the chemical makeup of most comets. Comets are typically composed of water ice, ammonia, and methane, but 3I Atlas showed an unusually high abundance of nickel relative to these other elements. The low water content further sets it apart, as most comets are primarily composed of water ice. Could this mean that 3I Atlas is not composed of the usual materials we associate with comets? Could it have a different origin, one that might involve artificial construction or alteration of some kind? The size and speed of 3I Atlas became a central point of intrigue soon after its discovery. Most comets are relatively small, typically measuring a few kilometers to tens of kilometers across, with a composition primarily made up of ice and dust. 3I Atlas, however, was observed to be significantly larger and denser than the typical comet. This discovery prompted immediate questions about its composition and structure. A larger object, by its very nature, has a different set of characteristics compared to smaller comets. Specifically, it is much more resilient to the harsh forces of space. It could be more durable as it travels through space, and potentially more capable of withstanding the extreme conditions of space travel. The massiveness of 3I Atlas suggests that it may not be a simple icy object. The size could indicate that the object contains more than just water, ice, and dust. There could be denser materials present that we don't typically associate with comets. This discovery raises the possibility that 3I Atlas might be made of materials that are not only unexpected, but perhaps more robust, suggesting that its structure could have been designed to endure extreme conditions. The larger the object, the harder it is for external forces to break it apart, meaning it could be far more resilient than what we see in natural comets. However, it wasn't just its size that raised suspicions, it was also its speed. 3I Atlas was traveling through the solar system at an astonishing velocity, much higher than most typical comets. While comets can travel at speeds of around 70 to 100 kilometers per second as they approach the Sun, 3I Atlas was moving at a much higher rate, much faster than expected for an interstellar object. What could account for such extraordinary velocity? Could something be propelling it at this speed beyond just the gravitational influence of the Sun? This unanticipated velocity raised further concerns. Could the high speed be the result of artificial means? In nature, Objects typically follow certain physical laws of motion, influenced primarily by the gravitational forces of celestial bodies like the Sun. The fact that 3I Atlas was moving so much faster than predicted suggests that there could be another force at play, 
whether that's additional propulsion from an unknown source or an inherent characteristic of the object itself that we don't fully understand. For a comet or interstellar object to travel at such high speeds, it may need to possess certain technological features or be made of materials designed to handle the stresses of high-velocity space travel. Could this indicate that 3i Atlas is not simply a random natural object, but rather something far more complex, potentially with an origin or construction beyond our current understanding of celestial bodies? Another key anomaly observed in 3i Atlas was its negative polarization, which was entirely unexpected. Polarization is a phenomenon in which light reflects off an object in a particular direction, and in most comets, light is positively polarized. This is the result of sunlight reflecting off the icy surfaces of comets and is considered a standard physical process for natural bodies in space. However, 3i Atlas displayed negative polarization, a feature that is highly unusual for a comet. This strange behavior suggests that the object's surface is composed of materials that are not typically seen in comets. The light reflection from 3i Atlas did not match the pattern expected from a typical icy body, indicating that its surface may be made of something that differs fundamentally from the ice and dust that are common in natural comets. The phenomenon of negative polarization is often associated with materials that have undergone artificial treatments or structural modifications. This has led to speculation that 3i Atlas might not be a naturally occurring object at all, but something that has been engineered or modified in some way. In the realm of space exploration, artificial materials are often designed to exhibit specific properties, such as unusual polarization patterns, to enhance functionality or durability. The negative polarization observed on 3i Atlas could indicate that this object was designed for a purpose, perhaps with a specific function or ability in mind, one that we are only beginning to consider. Could it be that 3i Atlas is not just a random visitor from another star system, but an object intentionally constructed for a purpose beyond what we can immediately comprehend? The discovery of 3i Atlas has raised far more questions than it has answered, leaving the scientific community and the public alike grappling with its mysterious nature. From the very beginning, this interstellar object has shown behavior that challenges our understanding of what is possible in the cosmos. It behaves in ways that defy our understanding of comets, and its unique characteristics suggest that there may be more to this object than a simple interstellar traveler. The CIA's refusal to comment on the object's records only adds to the intrigue. Are we dealing with a mysterious cosmic event, or is 3i Atlas something far more extraordinary, something the authorities are not yet ready to reveal? As scientists continue to investigate, one thing is certain. The truth behind 3i Atlas could be far more significant than we've been led to believe.